you'll just get something special that you didn't have to buy. I will be asking for Doc Martens this year because I just can't get myself to buy them. Hi guys, I know the lighting is super shitty right now. It's literally foggy and raining this morning and I have a ring light, but the cord doesn't reach all the way over here so the ring light won't work. Today I'm gonna be doing my Christmas wish list. I'm super excited because I did this last year and you guys really liked it and I really liked doing that video. I thought it was super fun to film. So today I'm gonna be doing that again. Basically I'm telling you guys what I want for Christmas and this is also like a gift guide. So like if you don't know what to ask for or if you don't know what to get someone, then this may help you. I'm gonna start. I have my laptop. I've been writing down a bunch of different ideas all week every time I think of something. Was it just me or is this year like the least festive year ever? Like I feel like I'm not in the mood. I'm not in like Christmas spirit. I feel like even around Halloween I was like, oh it's Halloween. Like I didn't even notice. It's not sad. Like I feel like every year it's just gotten less and less exciting you know what I mean but hopefully now that I'm doing this video it will change things around a little bit and we'll be in the Christmas spirit even more the first idea for a Christmas gift is the conspiracy palette or the conspiracy collection that Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star worked on this year I know you can't get the items anymore this year so technically you couldn't purchase it now and get it by Christmas I think the next time you can purchase the conspiracy collection is sometime in 2020 if you have already purchased this palette or I mean people resell it online it's just that they price it really high <laughs> so I don't know if it'd be worth it. The next thing is designer accessories. Gucci, like Louis Vuitton. I don't own anything from there because I don't think it's necessary to have. It's something I would never buy myself, so like if you ask for it for Christmas, then you'll just get something special that you didn't have to buy. Plus the jewelry isn't as expensive as like the shoes or the purses or like the bigger items. The next thing I wrote down is blankets. I feel like it's weird to get Christmas blankets and Christmas pajamas for Christmas. Christmas is over after you get it, right? So like, what's the point in getting Christmas pajamas and Christmas blankets? when you're not gonna use it until it's Christmas again next year. You know what I mean? So I feel like just regular blankets is the way to go because you could have them on your bed all year round. Like the fuzzy warm blankets. Urban Outfitters has a bunch of different colors. They all are super fuzzy, super soft. So I feel like that is the best place to get them. So the next thing I have on here is Disney Plus. I have a subscription to Disney Plus and it is the best thing ever. I feel like on Netflix, it takes me forever to find something to watch. With Disney Plus, I feel like I can find something to watch so fast. Okay, the next thing is a Glossier product. I do not own any Glossier at this moment, but it's definitely something that I will be asking for if I don't make it to the store because I really want to go to the LA store this year. I mean, they have lip balms, moisturizers, blush. Anything you get is pretty. It has, comes in this pretty packaging and little bags. The next thing I wrote down are sneakers. I feel like shoes is definitely something I ask for every year. Shoes that I wouldn't usually purchase, like Doc Martens or my Nike Air Force Ones, they are something that I would totally ask for. for my Nike Air Force Ones, I love those shoes. I did purchase those on my own actually, so this is kind of a bad example, but I feel like if you don't have them and you've been wanting them for so long, Christmas is the perfect time to ask. I will be asking for Doc Martens this year because I just can't get myself to buy them. Another good gift idea is custom Nike Air Force Ones. Since they're one of a kind, someone would love that. The next thing I have on here is very specific. It's this little paint set that I found on Amazon that I think is so cute. I found this little paint set. It comes in this like pink or green container and all of the paints come in these little packages that look like sauce packets. It's the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh. I think the paint itself actually works really well because I've seen people use it, but it's just super cute. Um, it's just one of those random things that I'm like, okay, this is like so fun. Like. I should totally ask for this. You can get them on Amazon, online, probably somewhere. The next thing I have on here is a mini fridge for your skincare. I see these being sold at Urban Outfitters, but they're like crazy priced. So I know you can get them at Walmart or on Amazon and they're these little mini fridges that you put in your room. They come in like pink, 
black, white, I think you can get, actually get them in different prints like cow print and you put them in your room and you keep all of your skincare in there. I think it's the cutest thing ever. It's not necessary of course because you could put your like moisturizer or like your creams and stuff in your refrigerator but just to have a little mini fridge in your room full of like your skincare I think is so cute so I don't know that's another idea. Obviously it's not necessary but it's cute. <laughs> The next thing I have on here is like a super small gift idea. This is a disposable camera. I, I had a disposable camera and I loved using it. Even though some of the pictures didn't turn out great, it was honestly so fun to just have it and like take it places and take pictures. I've seen people's pictures also come out amazing, so tell me your secrets because mine came out horrible. Disposable camera is super fun to have. It's perfect for like a gift for a friend. I feel like a little gift idea is like to have a basket and I've seen people do them like color themed so like blue or red but you could do one with, with like a disposable camera and with like a Glossier product and like something other. I don't know. Put that all in like a basket and give it to your friend. I feel like that's the perfect gift. A disposable camera is so much fun. It creates new memories. Cheap. Fun? I don't know I love it so that's a perfect idea so the next two things I'm gonna tell you are visco themed I know I get so much hate for like liking water bottles and backpacks but it is what it is um, but the next thing I have to mention is a Kankin backpack. I love my backpacks. They're great quality. They're super cute. They come in a million different colors, so I feel like this is the perfect gift. So I know you guys hate me because I like all these little visco things, but whatever. I have like yellow, pink, blue, green, and black, and I love them. They're so fun to have, to use for school, or to use like when you're going out places. They also come in a mini size, so if you don't want to spend $80, because that's like ridiculous you can also get the mini ones and they're a little bit cheaper and they're still super cute the other visco item is a hydro flask I use my hydro flask every single day I put stickers on it when I'm at college it's super hot every day so I have to carry around my water bottle everywhere I go so it's super necessary to me and I love my hydro flask but they're super expensive so I feel like it'd be a good gift idea they come in different colors as well so you can put them in like those little baskets that are like color themed as I was talking about the next thing is a hoodie you get it for your boyfriend and then you could just steal it Nike there's college themed you get any hoodie and I'm sure that you will steal it from them the next thing is pink apparel they have all these fuzzy sweaters and cute Christmas themed stuff a wildflower phone case is another great idea they have tons of different patterns I've gotten a wildflower phone case for every phone that I've had but this one and I haven't gotten one since I've had this phone so they're definitely the most trendy phone cases you could get another idea is Sweatpants. You can get good ones at Urban Outfitters, Brandy Melville. A Polaroid. I have the mini Polaroid. I don't know. It was trendy like years ago and I feel like it's also a great gift idea But I recently got this one and it actually has like wide film and it's so much more fun So that would be an even better gift because I like the wide film way better than like the small film Lululemon leggings is another one of my favorites. Um, I love them. I wear my leggings so many times I wear them on an everyday basis. I wear them to the gym So they are perfect to ask for because they are pricey, but but trust me, you will love them. Candles is my next idea. You can never go wrong with that. Cute coffee mugs. Oh my god, I wrote this down because I saw all of these different ones at Urban Outfitters. They are so cute. They have a million different mugs. You can get them. Oh my god, they're so fun. But another idea, you could totally customize them. Imagine, that would be so cute if you like painted a mug for someone. I feel like this next thing is super underrated and I never really see anyone get this for someone, but I wrote down makeup brushes. I feel like everyone gets their friends or their family like makeup palettes or like little kits from Sephora. Yeah, so I feel like most people don't think of makeup brushes, but having like a nice brush kit is super essential. You'll use them every day, it's perfect. You you can get like tons of different brush sets for good prices so I feel like that's a great idea anyway I think I gave you guys enough ideas so I hope that something stood out to you and I hope you guys know what to ask for for Christmas and what to get people for Christmas I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was super chill sit down and I will see you guys in my next video so bye